If you want to get a dynamic island on Poco F7 Pro, then first of all, we can go to the Play Store and then we're going to search for the dynamic spot. This is an app that we can use to get the dynamic island. There we go. Or at least this one resembles the dynamic island that we have on Apple devices or iPhones. So let's open it. I'm going to show you how to set it up. So once you open it, First, we need to proceed by pressing next. Over here, we need to press select apps. And in this menu, we need to select apps that should be compatible with the dynamic island. So you can choose specific apps by simply tapping on the switcher, or you can press all in the top right corner to select everything. Then there is notification access. So here we need to select dynamic spot and allow notification access. Press that you are aware of possible risks and after 10 seconds, press OK. All right, let's proceed. Then we need to allow the permission to draw on screen. So over here, we want to select no restrictions first for the battery. Let's go back and let's tap again, then go next and go to downloaded apps, dynamic spot, and we need to select that we want to use it. Once again, select that you are aware of possible risks and after 10 seconds, press OK. All right. And then we can press done. If you get this uh, premium offer, we can press X in the top right corner to close it. And there we go. Now, before we actually move on, we can also go to position in order to change the size and position of the dynamic spot. So I'm going to actually make it a little bit bigger, maybe not that big, but at least big enough so that the um, the camera is covered. We can also move it up a little bit as well. So let's see if we can actually adjust the position correctly. That's a little bit too much. So of course we can adjust manually as you can see over here. Let's say that this is good enough and I'm actually going to make it wider as well. Something like this perhaps. All right, now I'm happy with that. So this is how the dynamic island will look like. And that's pretty much it. So you can also go through the settings in order to set up the dynamic island to make it work just as you wish it to work. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.